Hello friends. So in this question, it's given that angles of a triangle are in the ratio two is to three is to four. We have to determine the three angles, right? So here is a triangle, right? So let's say A, B, C. A, B, C is a triangle, and the ratio of the three angles. So let's say this angle is, or let's say this, this looks the smallest one. So let's say this is two x. And this is three x, and this is four x. So now they are in the ratio two is to three is to four. So you can always start like that, right? Now by angle sum property we know. So by angle sum property, by angle sum property of a triangle, what we had discussed in the previous sessions. By angle sum property of a triangle, what do we know? That sum of the three angles must be 180 degrees, right? So angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degrees. So angle A is 2x, angle B is 3x, or whatever, whichever name. A is actually 3x. Never mind. But total sum is this only. So this is let's say 180 degrees. Okay, so 2 plus 3 plus 4, this is 9x, is 180 degrees, isn't it? So what is x then? x is 20 degrees. So if that is so, then now I know angle A is equal to how much? 3x. So hence 3 into 20 degrees, 60 degrees. All right, angle B was 4x. How much? So 4 into 20. 80 degrees right and angle C is equal to 2x which is 2 into 20 degrees hence 40 degrees right so the three angles are 40 60 and 80 and you can verify by what the sum should be 180 so indeed 40 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 80 degrees is indeed 180 degrees isn't it so this is verified and the ratio is also 2 is to 3 is to 4 Correct. So whenever there is a ratio related problem, learning is you can write them as this. So the three angles could be that which where x is unknown. Okay. So the ratio of two x, three x, four x is two is to three is to four. Right. So that's how you can solve this problem. So here is another problem, guys. In this uh, problem, it's been given that AB is parallel to DC. So AB is parallel to DC. And x is equal to 4y upon 3, right? So x and y are given. So you can see this is x, this is y. And uh, y is 3z by 8. So this is z, right? Find b, c, d. So b, c, d. That means we have to find out z. a, b, c. a, b, c is nothing but x plus y, if you look from the figure. And b, a, d, angle bad. B A D this angle isn't it so we will be using some concepts of parallel lines and transversals and alternate interior angles and all that and if you see angle A D B has been given as 36 degrees so let's solve okay so what is given angle A D B is 36 degrees isn't it that means y is equal to angle adb why no we can't say that because this, these are not parallel so we can't say that so no okay but ab is parallel to dc that means what let's try to yeah so um so we know that x angle x will be equal to this angle isn't it right so this angle is also x y because a b is parallel to c d so you can write since a b is parallel to c d therefore angle a b d a b d is equal to angle b d c is equal to x and what is the reason the reason is alternate interior angles I hope this is clear to you. Now, in triangle, 
in triangle BDC. Let's take BDC. Why? Because there is all x, y, and z. Can we not say that x plus y plus z is 180 degrees? And why is this? This is because of angle sum property of a triangle. We have been learning this and using this for a while now. So hence, and now let's also reduce it to one variable. If you see, okay, so let me write it here so that it becomes clear to you what do I mean is that x is 4y by 3, isn't it? It's given. And y is 3z upon it. Correct? So can I not write x is 4 by 3 into this y which is here you can replace it by this y so this will become 3 by 8 z isn't it so this 3 and this 3 will go this will cancel 2 so this is z upon 2 so x i got as z upon 2 y 3 z upon 8 so i can re remove or replace all these 3 x y and z in this equation i can replace x y and z in this equation by only expressions on z so x can be replaced by z by 2 plus y can be replaced as 3z by 8 and then we have got z and this is 180 degrees correct so dear friends now you can take the common denominator lcm as 8 so this will become 4z this will stay 3z and this will be 8z is equal to 180 degrees. Now let me solve this one here. So you will get 4 plus 3, 7 plus 8, 15 by 8 z is 180. Right. So what is z, dear friends? 180 degrees into 8 upon 15. Right. So 15 times 15 is 12 times this. Right. So 15 times 12 is 180. Okay. So this is 96 degrees so z comes out to be z comes out to be 96 degrees so z comes out to be 96 degrees okay so if i know z now i can know x x is how much z upon 2 which is 96 degrees by 2 which is 48 degrees okay and what is y y was if you see this is 3z upon 8 so 3 into z that is 96 upon 8 right now this is nothing but 12 so 36 degrees so we got all x y and z and you can verify x plus y plus z should have been 180 degrees is it so so let's check 96 plus 48 plus 36 degrees is indeed so our x is correct y is correct z is correct now what is to be found out the question wanted to uh, us to find out z first angle bcd is z so hence these are the three demands of the question bcd abc bad right so bcd was what z so hence angle bcd is clearly z is equal to 96 degrees got the first one angle abc was x plus y right which is nothing but x was 48 y was 36 so this comes out to be how much 74 isn't it oh no 84 degrees yeah 84 degrees so abc is 84 an angle bad bad what was bad let's check the figure once again so bad is this angle right so don't you think that bad is nothing but 180 minus x minus 36 so in this triangle this one right what is bad so let me write here itself so that it becomes easier for you to connect okay so i am writing here right in triangle abd and x plus 36 degrees plus angle bad is how much 180 degrees asp again angle sum property so this is the reason right so hence what will be angle bad bad is clearly 180 degrees minus 36 degrees minus x 
right and x we already found out x was 48 degrees is it so hence it is 180 degrees minus 36 degrees minus 48 degrees which happens to be how much 96 right 36 plus 48 anyways we had seen that is 84 so 180 this, so this is 96 right so we found out all the three angles i hope this solution is clear to all of you